What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Weekly Code Quickies. This is episode number 40. This is episode number 40, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by me, your host and founder of Weekly Code Quickies, Norbert BM. And today we're going to take a look at three awesome new updates in Visual Studio Code. This will be the version 1.87 released shortly and we have some exciting stuff for you. And that is speech. We can talk to Visual Studio Code now and it can do stuff. So let's just take a look at the very first update here. So you can dictate now Visual Studio Code. For example, all you need to do is on a PC, hold down Command Control Alt and V. And on a Mac, you're going to hold down Option Command and V. And this is a long press. So hold down Command Option V and you're going to see that little microphone appearing. Now you have to let it go after that. And there we go. It's already talking to me. It's already writing. <laughs> so stop. Actually, if you want to stop this, you have to hit on escape and then it's going to stop. And obviously it will auto complete if you have Copilot installed. Now you can do a bunch of stuff with this. Let me just try this one more time. So option command V or alt control, alt command, alt control V on a PC. And the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hey, so I'm going to stop this right now. Now, in order to have this, you need to install, you need to go to extensions and type in VS code each and you're going to land on this little extension. You need to install it. And after that, you're good to go. And this brings us to the second great update. This is not only for English speak, English speaking. Uh, people like me, oh, I can also speak multiple languages, for example, German, and you can also install the German language then, but you will need to go to the accessibility.voice.speech language in your command palette, or basically in your settings, and set it from English to German. Now, there are multiple uh, other languages like Turkish, Swedish, Russian, Portuguese, from Brazil, that is, Japanese. Japanese, Spanish from Spain, Italian from Italy, Chinese, the traditional ta and Taiwan. Uh, wait, traditional. Yes, I don't want to get into any trouble here. Okay, so also Portuguese from Portugal, English again, United Kingdom, Korean from South Korea, Chinese again, English from Ireland, Hindi, and of course from Australia, English, Can Canadian, Dutch, English from India, okay, New Zealand, <laughs> French, Canadian French, Spanish from Mexico, and Danish from Denmark. So pretty good, pretty good on the half of Visual Studio Code. I do think they should add Czech and what other major countries are pretty good at programming. I don't know, but it, they should add a couple of more languages. So don't forget, you have to have, first of all, Visual Studio Code. Let me show you this again. Or if you're only listening to so this in a, in a podcast form. So uh, the extension is VS code in your extension and then each. Okay, you need to have this one installed. So VS code each. And then you can install different language packages, which will then also let me show you. This also works in, like, say, a index file, a, index file, a JavaScript file. So I'm going to type in here comment. I'm just going to select the comment first of all so, or, or signifying that this is a comment and then an option command and V and hey, this is a comment. There we go. It just typed it off for me. And if I don't stop it, then it's going to type, 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 type. Okay, I got to stop it. But let us try to create, create a array called my array. Oh, wait. I need to activate the create a array called my array. This is so annoying. So you have to shut up and then you have to, so I'm going to press it, create an array called my array. Up it, hit enter. Bad one. But nevertheless, I did mention this in the last episode of the weekly code quickies. You can then command I or control I open up your GitHub, your GitHub copilot, and you can here activate speech again. So control V. Okay, the command isn't working, but you can press on the microphone and create a array called my array. Perfect. I'm going to accept it. And uh, now I'm going to say create free uh, create free for loops. What? Uh, let's try this again. <laughs> Create free for loops. Okay, that's not what I wanted. So they still have to work on it. But this will bring me to my next example or the next update. You can now 
multi or it, it's going to have a multi line multi inline compilation or compilation or suggestions for your cursor multi inline cursor suggestions so check this out if i would create three four loops i'm just going to type in here four four and copy it paste it in three times four times even why not okay now i'm going to click hold on options and click in the at the end of each of them space open close parenthesis and i just say i'm going to let here let i i'm going to copy it paste it in and paste it in again now hit save now i'm going to pick once to free open close parenthesis and it's not activating from strange regions so let's try it a let i is equal to zero and as long as well obviously this is not working <laughs> as i thought or as they intended until now but it should work it, it did work I, try, I did try it out a couple of times and it did auto complete a three four loops so let's try it for each loop so for each array and let me do this again just an array and let's just try this out one more time yep this time it did it did auto complete okay so it did work with <laughs> For each, uh, but it didn't work with four loops. Maybe because I because I have an array. I know if I just create here, let me just create here three four loops four and copy it, paste it in, paste it in. Three of a kind. Here going to multi-line select, open close parenthesis, and didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, but as you saw with our for each loop, it did work. It did multi-line complete. What uh, uh, it did multi-line complete at the end of the day. So these are three new updates. Hope you enjoyed them. Try them out. Let me hear your feedback in the comment section. So if you have any kind of questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, also if you're not already subscribed, then please feel free to do so. We're posting new content on the daily basis, actually. Pretty much regularly now, each and every week. And we also are posting new tutorials. I'm going to release a new tutorial the upcoming week, which is a comparison between bootstrap and regular css when you want to prototype a quick website so don't miss out of it subscribe to the channel and happy coding and catch you next time Bye bye